In the next few videos, we will talk about the tools I call technical. And that's because they don't create or transform any artwork, but they streamline the process of creation and transformation. So the tools we will take a look at in this class are the eyedropper tool, the measure tool, the artboard tool, the hand tool, the zoom tool, and the print tiling tool. As you can see, we got something to talk about, but I promise to, as usual, keep it concise and straight to the point so you don't have to listen to all the unnecessary stuff. So let's start with the eyedropper tool. Now with the eyedropper tool, we can sample color, type and appearance attributes from objects and apply them to other objects. And the eyedropper sits right here in the tools panel and has a very handy shortcut of the letter I. Now you may think that the eyedropper is just a point and shoot tool. I mean, you just click on one object and then on the second to pick the color up and then apply it. But that's just one way of working with the tool, albeit the most common. Now, by default, the eyedropper tool affects all attributes of a selection, but we can tell it which attributes we want to pick up and apply. And to do that, we need to use the eyedropper dialog box. So if we double click on the eyedropper tool icon, we'll be able to customize which attributes are going to be picked up by the tool and which ones are going to be applied. Knowing all that, let's take a look at what we can actually do with the eyedropper tool. As we already know, by default it affects all attributes of a selection. And the most straightforward way of using the eyedropper would be to use the holding down the control command key switches to the last used selection tool routine. And that will allow us to quickly select an object and pick up the appearance attributes we want to apply. If you want, you can shift click on multiple objects to add the same appearance to them at once. So that's one way of working. The second one will allow us to pick up only a portion of a color from a gradient, pattern, mesh object or a placed image. So to do that, we need to have an object selected, of course. We want to tell Illustrator which object we want to affect. And now we can shift click on a gradient fill to pick up only a portion of a color and effectively create a solid fill, not a gradient fill, which we would do if we just clicked, not shift clicked. The third way is, I think, the easiest or definitely the most convenient, especially when you're working with a lot of objects. Now, this technique works even if you don't have anything selected. Simply click with the eyedropper tool on an object you'd like to pick the appearance from and then Alt Option click on the object you want to add the appearance to. Simple as that. Before we move on to the next video, there's just one little trick I wanted to share with you here. If you ever wondered if in Illustrator you can sample a color from your desktop, well, the answer is yes. And surprisingly, it's more intuitive than you might have expected. All you need to do is to select the object you want to affect, click with the eyedropper anywhere in the document, then, while still holding down the mouse button, move the cursor over your desktop, to sample the color you want. So this is how you can use the eyedropper tool in Illustrator. In the next video, we'll take a look at the measure, hand and zoom tools, so stay tuned.